Hi, in this video I'll show you how to quickly add multiple series into a scatter chart. So let's say for example we have this data here. We have uh, coffee sales. As the temperature uh, goes up or down depending on how you see it, coffee sales should go up or down depending on how you see it, right? So higher temperature you're going to sell less coffee, lower temperature you sell more coffee. Generally what is probably best to do is select just the data itself. We have our X, the data for our X, and then the data for our Y to create our scatter chart. We don't need to select um, these uh, labels. We can put them in later on. That's probably the easiest way to do it. Go to Insert, and then under Charts, you select the particular scatter chart, and we have our data. So it's always a good idea to check and make sure this is your data. This is Series uh, 1.4, 4, 280, right? So we have 4, 280, and our last one down here is 38, 1, 38, 1. So that is our chart there. Now, if we wanted to add data to that, additional data, one way to do it is to add data here. You control C to copy and add just another column here. And click on your chart, you can see, if I click on my chart, you can see the area that it has encompassed or takes over. You just want to move our Y, our series um, range for our Y, and move it over. And now you've got it over there. So we have coffee versus soda sales. You can just change your title and say coffee, right? Double click that, coffee versus soda sales. Or another way to do it is just to add the label, right? We have our labels and we add our um, legend. I mean, we add our legend. And if we have our series, this is not a good idea to have just this generic series one, series two. What we want to do is and put in the labels there. So we go under design, oh, under design, select data, and series one, which is the first series that we had. Click edit. What is the name? Coffee sales. Click OK. And then series two, click edit. What's the series name? Soda sales. Click OK. And now we've got our particular data here, right? What if we wanted to add additional data to it? We have some strange data. These all have about seven rows of data. This has got also seven rows of data. That's uniform, so we can keep adding this. If my other data had the same seven rows of Y data, that'd be possible. But what if it, I had something where it had multiple sets of data? What we can do here is we can actually do a copy and paste special. So I'm going to select my data here, Control C to copy, go into my chart, and select under home, paste, paste special, and we have this paste special box that comes up. I'm going to add my cells in as a new series, and my Y values are in, my Y values are in columns, and my category X axis are in the first column, and I will put, I don't need to check that, I'm going to do that later on, and I'm not going to replace existing categories. Click OK, and now I have a new series of data. Same thing with, if I wanted to add the label for my legend, Click on that, go under Design, Select Data, Series 3, Edit, and click on that for my label or my legend. Click OK, click OK, and now I have my legend. You can see I've got now three sets, three series of data here. If you had any more data, you can just do, do a copy and paste special and just paste it into the chart. Now, of course, having many series of data into an XY a scatter chart is probably not advisable, but if you wanted to do that, that is there for you. You have our different colors that help us differentiate a little bit, but then again, you probably don't want too many series of data here. If you wanted to differentiate it further on, you can probably change the markers. You can right click and go under Format Data Series, and for your uh, particular marker, maybe you can change it, right? So you can have, instead of doing the built-in ones, you have uh, some options here. You can change it, make it into a triangle, and then that kind of differentiates it if the color is not suitable for you. So there's your way of quickly adding uh, multiple series of data into a scatter chart. You can, if it's got the same amount of rows and your y, your y values are what is just different, you can add it in there here. Um, if it's got different amount of rows, when you, if you're doing something like this, you've got seven rows here and maybe 14 rows here, then you can do the copy-paste special. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.